Well, good afternoon, good afternoon. This is the Minister Marquise L. Kimball coming to you live. And I do want to give you guys uh, some evidence of what we're dealing with with State Farm because these violations have been continuously dis 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 disregarded and ignored. And we have clear cut evidence of the violations of our rights and the laws that protect and govern insurance policies and procedures. So if you'll stay with me here, I'm gonna pull up an under oath question uh, that was presented to a third party in regards to our insurance claim. And I want to explain and show to you what this third party said under oath, uh, sworn under oath. And this is continuously disregarded by State Farm. So let me share my screen here with you guys. And I should be able to pull up exactly what I want you guys to see. What we have here is a request for admissions. What this is, is a discovery questionnaire that was presented to a third party who happened to be our previous landlord, who also was named in a legal lawsuit that we filed in Fulton County Courts in regards to our property that remained on the premises that we never got returned to us. Request for admissions. Please admit or deny that you, Deborah McSurley, had communication with defendant Jeff Lambert regarding 108 South Main Street, Swanton, Ohio, 43558. Answer, she admits I returned a call to Jeff Lambert because I thought he was an interested buyer or tenant. My question is, is why is our insurance agent contacting our previous landlord for any reason concerning our property? Please admit or deny that you, Deborah McSurley, had communication with defendant Jeff Lambert regarding the events that transpired at 108 South Main Street, Swanton, Ohio, on January 18th. Answer, admit, he contacted my brother who passed this information on to me. Again, why is Jeff Lambert, our former agent, contacting McSurley's brother in regards to our policy? Please admit or deny that you, Deborah McSurley, had communication with the defendant Jeff Lambert regarding claim number 35-29N7-27R. Answer, admit, I contacted Jeff Lambert about the status of the claim and he referred me to the corporate office. So why is she contacting anybody about the status of anything? Because she was not authorized on our policy whatsoever and should not have been talking to anybody at State Farm regarding our, our, our claim. He did not have the claim number, nor did I. Please admit or deny that defendant Jeff Lambert indicated to you, Deborah McSurley, that claim number 3529N727R was going to be denied by defendant State Farm Fire Casualty. She says denied. Please admit or deny that defendant Jeff Lambert indicated to you, Deborah McShirley, that plaintiff Marquise Kimball was the cause of the events that occurred at 108 South Main Street, Swanton, Ohio, 43558 on January 18, 2022. She says denies. Please admit or deny that defendant Jeff Lambert indicated to you, Deborah McSurley, that plaintiff Marquise Kimball had pre previously committed insurance fraud. She denies that. Now pay attention to number seven here. This is what I need the Ohio Department of Insurance to take a look at because this is continuously disregarded by State Farm Fire Casualty and their attorney, Lori Thompson's office. Please admit or deny that you, Deborah McSurley, or given notice that on or about August 16, 2022, claim number 35-29N7-27R had been denied. Answer, admit, I contacted State Farm's corporate office. They advised me I was not a named insured and that the claim had been denied. So this is where State Farm broke the privacy laws. She is not listed on our policy, nor was she part of our corporate corporation, part of our corporate office. 
she had no business knowing anything about our claim and knowing that it was denied before any person at our corporation knew. This is where our rights were completely violated. And State Farm thinks that this is something that we're just going to let them get away with. We're not going to let them get away with this. This is a violation of our rights, and you will be held accountable. Thank you.